Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how we can install the Suprema Biostar 2 software. So in the first, we will see how we can install the Biostar 2 over MariaDB. MariaDB is the default database of Suprema Biostar 2. So in the first, we will see how we can install using that. So let's see how we can do it. My name is Aditya. Let's get started. I have already downloaded the Biostar 2 software. So in case if you haven't downloaded, simply you can open your browser, look for Suprema Biostar 2 or simply search for Suprema INC. Go to the first page and uh, once you have opened the website from the product section, you can simply click on Biostar 2 overview. Just click on Biostar 2 overview. In the Biostar 2 overview, if you scroll it a little down, you will see a download button there. Just click on download button and you just have to click on this Biostar 2 more button. Once you click on this, just scroll it a little down, you will see this setup file that current this latest version in Biostar 2.9.0. If you want to download it, simply you just have to click on download button based on your system architecture, whether it's a 64 bit or x86. If you just click on the download button, it will ask whether you want to install it like a version update or it's a new installation or it's a evaluation. So currently we are going to do the new installation. So you can simply select the new installation and download it. But here we have already downloaded. So simply I'll just extract this file. Once this file is extracted, we will see a setup file that is Biostar 2 setup file. We just have to click on right click and do run as administrator. You can simply do double click. It will by default come on the administration, but you can simply just right click and select the run as administrator. Both will do the same task. So I'll just run it as an administrator. Here it goes. I make it yes. Now first it's asking to select the language. Obviously here in India we will select English else the another word is Korean. So I'll simply select OK. Now it's like license agreement. I accept that next. Now this page is like uh, you can see it says password. So very first the password it's asking it is for the login password. Anytime once your Biostar 2 is installed. Uh, the password you will use for the login now. So this will the same password. So I'll give a password and you can see there is a warning written here. Admin user password must be managed carefully not to be forgotten. That means you have to be very careful using this password. If you forget this password, there's no way to recover that password. So simply you just need to reinstall it and the data completely you will also lose the data whatever the data will be available in your software you have to be very careful specifically for this password click on next now you can see this installation it asks express edition or the custom installation currently we are going to use this express edition because in the custom edition it will it will give us an option if you want to change it like MariaDB or MSSQL, MariaDB maybe if you want to switch it like some selected database or you want to create database and all those things. So currently we are going to use Express Edition in this. Suprema Biostar will itself install MariaDB, create database, create table, everything it will do by itself. So we'll select Express Edition and simply click next. Now the moment we selected Express Edition, now it's asking what password you want to set for the database so root is basically the password uh, username you can say and i'll give it a password now for for here as well you can see it says root account password must be managed carefully not to be forgotten and this password will be used to create acta and video db password uh, it's like in suprema biostar 2 you will have three different different databases one is for access, one is for time attendance, another is for video. Doesn't matter if you are using just access database, but still it will create all three databases. 
तो इवन द सेम पासवर्ड विल बी फॉर दिस ऑल थ्री डेटा बेसिस नाउ सिंपली क्लिक नेक्स्ट इट्स आस्किंग वेर यू वॉन्ट टू इंस्टॉल द बायोस्टार टू सॉफ्टवेयर आई विल कीप इट द सेम प्लेस सिंपली क्लिक नेक्स्ट 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 नाउ इट्स आस्किंग फॉर द पोर्ट अवेलेबिलिटी बाई डिफॉर दिस से पोर्ट अवेलेबिलिटी इज ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज द पोर्ट यू कैन चेंज द पोर्ट इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट वी कैन कीप इट द डिफॉल्ट पोर्ट then simply click on next now here it gives an option that says server and usb device agent if you are going to use usb devices like uh, suprema biostar mini or bio mini plus then actually you need that so for now i'm not going to use this i'll simply untick this and click next now i'll simply just click on install it will take a little time to do the installation so it's almost done i think just few more seconds to go Here it goes. Installation is finished, and you can see the icon also on the desktop. Simply so just click on Finish. Now we'll just click on this icon. The moment you click on this, for the very first time, it will ask. Uh, the, it says missing shortcut. Actually, this missing shortcut means uh, we have to select through which browser we actually want to open this BioStar to. So I already have both Chrome and Microsoft Edge, but better I'll open it with open it with Chrome. So simply I'll just go to the program files, then Google, Chrome, application, and from here I'll select Chrome. Once Chrome is selected, now my BioStar 2 will get open on the same. so when we open the biostar 2 for the first time it will give this type of uh, option that says that uh, uh, your connection is not private or this not secure so this option will come until we don't activate the ssl certificate in it so for now we will open it like this way because i know this is my system so i know whether it is secure or not so now i'll do one thing simply just click on advance and click on this proceed to unset i'll click on this now you can see this page will comes up So this is the same username password that we have given during the installation at the first time. So simply give the username, put the password and click on login. Now you can see this dashboard user device door access control monitoring all the options you can see here. These options are dependent on the license. So what we have installed it is a starter version. So for the starter version there is no license required for the BioStar 2. If we need some advanced feature of access control or time attendance, then we may need an we may need license. So once license is activated, we will have several more options. So this that's it. The installation is done. Now in the next video, we will see how we can connect the devices, so like how to connect the Suprema devices with this BioStar 2 software. So there are several ways to doing the connectivity. So stay tuned with us. See you in the next video.